Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? A while back, I did a video about why the Wii U seemed to be so slow when downloading stuff from the internet. The results from those tests have been kind of bugging me though, so let's take a fresh look. Are things really as they seem? Game downloads aren't exactly small, and downloading any large file from the internet can take a while. But I've always had this feeling that the Wii U is just inherently slower than other consoles. If you haven't seen it, you should check out my original video on the topic. The link is in the description down below. In that video, I ran some speed tests using the built-in Wi-Fi, as well as a USB Ethernet LAN adapter. And while the LAN adapter was a bit faster, it still didn't come close to maxing out my internet connection. So I came to the conclusion that there must be something about the Wii U hardware holding it back. That conclusion's been bothering me though. It's not so much that I don't trust the results as it is I couldn't get a whole lot of testing data. The reason is due to the Wii U's browser. Most internet speed testing sites rely on Flash, which is something the Wii U doesn't support. I had found testmy.net as a site that worked over HTML5, so it's what I use for testing. But that's just one site, and since then, more HTML5 compatible speed testers have popped up. So let's do some more testing. Connected through Wi-Fi, I loaded up speedof.me and ran the test. It came back with a speed of 12 megabits per second on download, which is faster than my original results of 8 megabits, but still nowhere near what my internet connection is capable of. So I switched over to the third-party LAN adapter and reran the test. This time I got 14 megabits, still faster than in the original video, but not a whole lot. That got me thinking, I'm using a third-party LAN adapter. Maybe that's got something to do with it. I had ordered an official Nintendo LAN adapter after a viewer pointed out that they're available on Nintendo's own web store. So I swapped it out for the third-party one and reran the test. The results were almost exactly the same as before. Now I hadn't really figured the official one would be significantly faster, but this just goes to show the adapter itself doesn't really matter. Okay, so maybe speedup.me isn't all that fast either. After all, the test is only valid if the service itself is capable of going as fast as the connection you're testing. I found openspeedtest.net, which also doesn't need Flash, but found that running it caused the Wii U's browser to throw an error. I suspect the test file that the site downloads is too big for the browser to handle. But let's take a look at that test again. Just before the problem happens, the site reports a speed of upwards of 30 megabits. That's a really interesting result. Maybe the speed test results aren't due to the services I tried, but are actually limited by the browser itself. I figured it was time to change my testing methodology. If I couldn't trust the results from the web browser, then it shouldn't be part of the tests. So I ended up doing things a bit more manually. I ran a series of download tests using game demos from the eShop. This is perhaps a better real-life test anyway, since that's where the biggest downloads come from. I started with the demo for Chasing Aurora, which is somewhat small at 67 megabytes. I started the stopwatch when I tapped the final download button, then switched over to the download management screen. I stopped the timer as soon as the status changed from downloading to installing. Using the LAN connection, it took almost exactly one minute. After it finished, I deleted the demo using the data management utility. Then I switched to the Wi-Fi connection and downloaded it again. This time it took one minute and 10 seconds. Not a huge difference, but in the same ballpark as what we saw with the browser-based testing. With a 67 megabyte file, that means the wired connection was doing almost nine megabits per second, while wireless was about 7.7. .7. Something interesting I noticed on the data management screen is that the demo was listed as being only 45 megabytes. I can only assume there's additional overhead included in the downloaded file that's deleted when the demo is installed. So for all these tests, I'm using the size as reported in the eShop since it's bigger. With the Chasing Aurora test, we got some interesting results, but I wondered what it would be like to use a larger game demo. 
So I repeated the same test, but using the Pikmin 3 demo instead. It was much bigger, almost a gigabyte. And the results were interesting. It took eight minutes to download on the wired connection and about 11 minutes and 18 seconds over wireless. This shows a much bigger difference between the two. For this test, Wi-Fi was 40% slower. It also shows faster speeds than before, almost 17 megabits for wired and 12 for wireless. This got me really curious, so I repeated the test two more times, using the demos for Bayonetta 2 and Sonic Lost World. Bayonetta was 724 megabytes and Sonic was 446, but both came back with very similar results. Wireless was about 35% slower than wired with average speeds of 10 megabits per second, while wired was about 14. So what does all this mean? Really, it means I was both right and wrong at the same time. I was right in that there still isn't a huge difference between wired and wireless. I was also right in that regardless of which connection you use, it won't max out a fast internet link. But I was wrong in my conclusion as to what caused the bottleneck. I don't think it's actually the hardware's fault now. That 30 megabit per second blip I got earlier shows some promise. I think the real bottleneck is a combination of the Wii U's browser and also the eShop itself. The hardware may be capable of more, but the software or Nintendo's own servers limit it. What's no different from my original video though is my ultimate recommendation. And that is if the Wi-Fi signal to your Wii U is weak and you're able to run a network cable to it, a wired LAN adapter should help. Otherwise, the speed is what it is. For those big game or update downloads, you just need to wait it out. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. That helps me out quite a bit. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at thisdoesnotcomp. And as always, thanks for watching.